Hello and welcome in Frog Manual 11. In this episode we will be taking a look on the High Kappa magazine. So I already released a video uh, explaining the High Kappa conversion and as always uh, the magazines for it are printable. This magazine is practically the same as P226 magazine I published already uh, regarding the assembly, the only difference is in the shape of the parts but I'm gonna record anyway uh, how to put it together when you have the parts. So let's take our beautiful golden barrel high kappa aside and let's have a look on the magazine first. The materials may differ, I will write the recommendation in the description of the video. The magazine capacity is 17 rounds, I already said in the previous video uh, it's a single stack. It has these uh, openings here indicating how many VBs are left and yeah, let's see how to build one. Here is the complete set of parts that you will need. So we need to print the outer shell, base plate, follower, base plate lock and feeding lips. Uh, plus we need that screw. That, uh, this is M2 times 20 conical head plus an insert M2 uh, thread and the size of the inserts is 3 uh, by 3 millimeters. And also we have a spring, this is the regular spring like in all frog engineering magazines, so 6 millimeters outer diameter, pitch is 3 millimeters and uh, thickness of the steel wire is 0 0.5 millimeters. We need 190 millimeters of that spring. So what we need to do first is to prepare some parts So the first step will be to prepare the parts and here we need to start with the spring. The spring, I already said, 190 mm length, one end has to be bended to be completely flat and the other has to be bended to be flat, but then uh, you need to make a tiny spiral of, the, uh, of this uh, sharp tip sticking out of the spring here because you don't want it to uh, scratch inside of the shell, you want it to be pointing inwards basically. Yeah, This will uh, guarantee you smooth performance. And the second thing will be the preparation of the shell. So obviously you need to clean this up like all 3D printed parts, but here especially make sure that the inner tunnel is uh, cleaned up. I usually take a round file, I put it in and make sure I file off all the uh, stringing and some different artifacts that could happen in 3D printing. So depending on your material, your settings, this could happen. And also remove them from this follower uh, track here on the side. You can use some flat file on this one, so just drop it in there and uh, clean it up. A good test if the shell is cleaned up good enough is to just throw in the follower and if it goes through smoothly, like in my case, that it means there is no obstruction. And always remember to blow out all the debris after filing and so on, because if not, if something will be left there, it will end up in your uh, gun's barrel. Then we need to take our threaded insert and um, there are actually two ways how you could do this. Uh, for me, the best is to just drop it in this pocket here. And then I can put in the screw from the top so that it catches this uh, threaded nut, pull it a little up. And one option would be to heat this uh, threaded, actually it's not a nut, it's an insert, to heat up this insert and basically pull it in. I made the part of PLA so it will be very easy because of low melting temperature. Or the second option uh, that you could do is to just take a flat screwdriver squeeze it here under the whole insert and when I will be screwing in the uh, screw right now it will push on the screwdriver and you see that the insert is being pulled into the plastic part. So regardless of the method you choose uh, you need to assemble the insert in here to make sure that the feeding lips will be attached properly. One more thing, uh, maybe it's to make sure because in P226 uh, the shape is such that the opening for the um, mag catch works kind of well. If you just print it standing, if you print standing this one, uh, you will have some hanging plastic here. So either use some supports, of course the simplest way, but even if you use some supports make sure to remove them nicely so that it really uh, fits and clicks into your pistol. Yeah. So now when the parts are prepared, 
Uh, what is left is just to put this together, which will be very simple and quick. So the first will be the feeding lips. Uh, they have this hook on the bottom. We slide it from the side here into this uh, pocket on the magazine and then we use our screw where we already prepared the brass insert and we screw this in and while doing this I can maybe uh, highlight one thing uh, these feeding lips are pretty tiny so make sure that you print them from a very robust material I tested many different ones and PETG with carbon fiber worked quite well but uh, it was easy to break it because of impact for example so finally I switched to a different one and right now I use the nylon uh, with carbon fiber and so far I was not able to break even a single uh, feeding lip on any magazine uh, where I used this material so I advise to use it basically I tested almost everything that exists and this one was the best so when we did it uh, we need to take the spring with the spiral tip and put it onto the follower. Also to improve the robustness of the magazine it's good to put this tip of the spring under this uh, follower arm on this side. So you can see that the tip is hidden here and in the magazine basically there is more space so again less risk it will scratch against anything. And on the other end we just put this base plate lock and those parts go nicely into our shell with the feeding lips attached. So we push it all the way in and now basically uh, from the rear we slide in the base plate and if the lock here will not close you can use your finger to do it basically here on the bottom the part should be visible in my case it's orange so I have nice orange circle. <clears throat> and the magazine is ready. It was very quick and simple, uh, not in many parts, very lightweight compared to the uh, original magazines for Haikapa. As the spring travels only in straight line here and uh, the capacity is not that high, you can use it immediately and you don't really need to format anything here. Just make sure that all the parts were clean when you were assembling them. And I don't use any kind of grease or lube for this because I don't see a purpose, uh, spring is strong enough. So one last thing you could do is to basically throw it in your HP GBB pistol, uh, check that it locks, it locks nicely. You can try if the slide locks when magazine is empty, it locks, so everything is fine. Thank you for attention, this was all for this episode of Frog manual. Uh, the conversion mounting process will be presented in the next episode. And for now, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Uh, I highly appreciate your support. Don't miss the upcoming videos, hit the notification bell for this. And yeah, you will see me again in the next one. So thank you for your attention and may the power of GBB pistol be with you.